Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and happy Saturday. I am meteorologist Liam Kennedy, and it is absolutely gorgeous today, really across the whole entire country. Temperatures right in the 80s. Humidity is relatively low. Dew points is relatively low, and just some very light winds. It is absolutely gorgeous out there, and will continue to stay like this until we get into about Tuesday and Wednesday of our brand new week, and then we'll have a brand new weather maker coming in that will bring us a slight chance of rain and also our temperatures down just a little bit. Here are the current conditions right now in Murphy, South Carolina. Once again, absolutely gorgeous. Winds out of the east at about 9 miles an hour. Plenty of sunshine. Our humidity has dropped from 90 to down 50, so a really big change that has increased our weather a lot. Our dew point is around 60. Plenty of visibility out there right now. Temperature right now at 81 degrees. Our sunrise this morning was at 651, and if any of you are heading um, anywhere to watch the sunset, that will be at 736 p.m. this afternoon. Now let's jump right into our tropical outlook and take a look at where our current threats are right now. Here is Hurricane Larry, a major Category 3 hurricane right now. I know that might scare us a little bit, but let me just tell you right now, it is going to head north. It is going to take a turn north over the next 36 to 48 hours and will eventually become no threat to the United States at all. However, we have a brand new somewhat of a threat. Here's Invest 91L. This really had... This really had had a 0% chance of forming when it was over here in the Western Caribbean. It has worked its way a little bit more westward and is now sitting over the Yucatan Peninsula with about a 30% chance of forming over the next 36 to 48 hours. It will manage to work its way a little bit more northward and head into the, into the middle of the Gulf of Mexico. It could become somewhat of a threat to the northern Gulf Coast, but if we do see anything with this system, it is going to be nothing like, like what we saw with Hurricane Ida over the over the last two weeks. All right, here is the latest enhanced satellite on Hurricane Larry. Once again, a major Category 3 hurricane. You can definitely see it has a very well-defined eyewall, plenty of deconvection here along that southeastern side. It will continue to head northwest at about 20 or so miles an hour, but once again, is absolutely no threat to the United States at all. Here is the latest advisory we have from the National Hurricane Center. Its current location is 15, excuse me, 16.5 north, 45.2 west. Maximum winds around the center around 125 miles an hour with a low minimum pressure of 958 millibars and is moving west northwest at about 15 miles an hour. And here is our tropical system selector. Once again, because it has wind speeds of around 125 miles an hour, it is in that category three, you know, area. But um, as soon as we get into tomorrow and then eventually into Monday, now we're going to be working our way into category four hurricane stats. All right. Here's the latest forecast track we have from the National Hurricane Center. will most likely become a Category 4 hurricane sometime tomorrow afternoon with winds of around 140 miles an hour or somewhere in that range and remain a Category 4 hurricane all the way until we get to about Thursday morning. And then it will finally decrease a little bit right before it heads off for Bermuda, becoming a Category 3 hurricane with winds around 120 miles an hour. But once again, because it will be making that northwesterly turn, it's going to be uh, really moving away from the United States. The only impacts we may see from the system are very high rip current risks, especially along the coast of the Carolinas. But other than that, we're not going to see any uh, impacts or risks as far as the United States uh, impacts go. If this system could become a Category 5 hurricane. Only two of the models are indicating that it might get up to that range. Um, either way, whether it's a Category 4 or a Category 5, it really isn't going to make much of a, of a difference because it won't be bringing any impacts to the United States at all. All right, here's the latest satellite on Invest 91L. Just a really big cluster of thunderstorms here along portions of the southeastern Yucatan Peninsula. It really isn't, you know, formed at all and really doesn't have that look that you would that you would typically see within a tropical entity. It will manage to work its way into portions of the northern Gulf of Mexico. It has a 30% chance of forming over the next five days. It could bring some very minor impacts here to portions of the northern Gulf of Mexico or to the northern Gulf Coast. But if we see anything, it'll just be a normal rainy day, a couple of different scattered showers and thunderstorms throughout the day with, with potential winds upwards of maybe 20, 25 miles an hour. But other than that, we're not really going to be seeing any other impacts within the system. It could become a tropical storm, but once again, if we see anything with the system, it is going to be nothing like that we saw with Hurricane Ida over the last one to two weeks. All right, now coming up when our next weather maker is approaching us. Alrighty, everybody, so now that we have the tropics out of the way, let's talk about our current setup right now in the atmosphere. We currently have two different areas of high pressure. One of them is in the Western Carolinas, and our second one is up there in the Mid-Atlantic. As we head into tomorrow, a brand new cold front forms along with an area 
of low pressure. As we head Monday, it starts to shift towards the east and closer to our local area and will eventually become a stationary front just off of our coastline as we head into Tuesday. But watch this. As we head into Wednesday, it's just a little bit more back towards our west, right along our coastline. And also along with that, we have a brand new cold front that has just formed back towards our west across portions of the Kentucky River Valley. So this is going to be our best chance of rain because not only do we have one system to watch, but we have two systems to watch. Our first one is this is this big stationary front that is going to be streaking across our local area, but our second one is going to be this massive cold front that goes from northeastern Texas all the way into the Kentucky and Ohio River Valley. So these two fronts combined is what is going is going is what is going to enhance our rain chances the most come Wednesday. But other than that, our forecast is absolutely gorgeous. Plenty of sunshine really throughout every single day except for except for portions of Wednesday because that is when it, that is when our biggest rain day is going to come. Our highs are going to be anywhere from the high 80s to low 90s in the afternoon dropping down into the high 60s to low 70s overnight. Our stationary front is with us Monday and Tuesday. And then we have the cold front coming through on Wednesday. But other than that, our forecast is absolutely great. All right. So that is it for today's video. Please be sure to, my, please be sure to visit my website above at www.liamsweather.org. And here's my social media. There's my Twitter at liamsweather621. There's my Instagram at Liam Kenny. And last but not least, in case you all are on Facebook, I am also on Facebook at Liam Kenny. And last but not least, please be sure you are subscribed to my YouTube channel. And turn on that notification bell so that way whenever I post videos, you get notified immediately. And also be sure if you're liking the content, you click that like button. All right. So that is basically it for today. Thank you all so much for watching and have a great rest of your Saturday.